All right, guys, I came outside just uh, for better lighting, you know, but um, this weekend I'm gonna be uh, flying over to Minnesota and I was trying to figure out like, man, what should I make a video of? And I came up, I was like, whoa, why don't I show people how you can bring a rig on the plane? Um, a lot of people get really like intimidated or scared to take uh, their rig or their pieces on the plane, but I'm here to tell you or show you that um, it's actually way easier than you think. And TSA doesn't really give a fuck, honestly. Sometimes, you know, on the road, you wanna take your rig, you know, you fucking are flying to some lame ass state and you wanna dab out there, you know, you know you ain't got no plugs, you know you ain't got no, so you wanna take a rig with you, you know? So, I'm here to show you that it's possible and you can do it, don't be scared. So I'm gonna show you exactly what piece I'm gonna be taking. When you're traveling with a piece, you definitely, um want to take something smaller this is going to be my smallest size case and my um just easiest to carry piece in general she's a little dirty right now but the piece i'm going to be taking this trip is my thriving lotus piece she was made in 2016 full dicro I haven't used her in a while. But yeah, I'm gonna get her cleaned up. And um, so the number one tip for taking your pieces on the plane is make sure they are clean. If there's a bunch of rosin globs or you know a bunch of resin all over it and they pull it out and it stinks, you wanna get your piece taken away at that point. But this, as you see, is a piece of art. So I will be taking this piece with me on the plane. Super fire cap to match it to goes with it i bought this dyke grow bubble cap to match it as well i haven't used it yet yeah you can see her a little bit better super pretty love this bubble cap oh don't do that one of the things you want to take up into consideration is space don't get me wrong you definitely could take a big piece i have but as you see, this case is way smaller than the other. I'm only going for a couple of days, so there's no, I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. This is gonna be a little bit more in your face, you know what I mean? You're gonna be looked at a little bit more. People in the air, airport look at you. I walk through with my backpack just holding this. But just for this video purpose, I'm gonna be taking just this small rig. I'm just, it's a quick little trip. There's no need to take, you know, fucking something big. It's called the Traveler for a reason. And then speaking of dabbing, I might as well take a dab. Yeah. I haven't taken a dab in a couple of days. I'm not even gonna lie. Smoking some flour only, and I said fuck that, I'm about to bust one out tonight. I still gotta pack up, so I definitely want some dabs before I do that, I ain't gonna lie. I saw this video on Instagram actually recently. Shout out to Florida boys. If I can find it, if this clip is playing, if I'm saying this on the video, it's the the link is in the bio for sure. He uh he definitely is not afraid to show that he has his rig, and uh, I thought the video he posted was really funny because it proves it really shows like yeah you can take your rig through the airplane if you want to. Rigs through the plane is it's just just like taking your clothes. Ain't nobody give a fuck. A lot of my friends tell me, like, well, what do you do if you if they do tell you, like, oh, where you can't take I'll tell them motherfuckers I'm staying. Bro, if they try and fucking take my thousand, like, not thousand, even if it's a few hundred, bro, I'm not fucking going, you know what I mean? Functional art. It's considered functional art. So, at the end of the day, it's art. It's, this isn't just a fucking bomb. It's not just some china glass. Like, this is a one-on-one -on -one handmade piece, so it's art. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, I needed that for sure. Fuck. Whew. That was amazing. Ooh, it's a little smoky in here. Shit. I almost forgot. Shout out to Bait. I know I wanted to vlog it. I didn't I didn't do it, but I went to Bait today and I was able to secure my size in the seafoam air 
Jordan ones. They come in the um, in the Jordan one women's box, obviously, because uh, it's a women's shoe. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep these though. They're pretty clean, but I don't know. The thing is with this material, it's like, man, I'm scared to fuck these up. I like to wear my shoes. Like, I have a lot of shoes and I have nice shoes, and they're shoe I take care of them. But at the same time, like, I don't like shoes that I have to tiptoe around in because your boy be doing some shit. I be walking through the mud sometimes, you know what I mean? If you got them and you like them, you good for you, cause these are these are clean, bro. Not gonna lie. All right, let me get to packing up. Ten minutes away. As you see, it's six oh two a.m. I'm fucking tired, man. go to sleep to like fucking I have a really hard time packing up like shoes choose or uh, it takes me like fucking like a few hours to choose which shoes I want to wear don't be like me guys my Uber's like five minutes away fuck that you know I need to take that yeah I'm gonna be taking my rig to the airport I'll be showing you guys it's really not that bad at all. What you guys know about these? Thousand milligrams. 50 milligrams per piece, not the 100 milligrams like y'all are used to. I'm just trying to sleep. I'm eating 200 milligrams. These things are fucking stuck in there. This looks so funny. I almost got it. Alright, 200 milligrams, 50 milligrams a piece, four pieces. I don't like gummies. Alright, let me get to the Uber. to the airport brought my rig I need to go to the bathroom I was fucking sleeping there uh Uber um those edibles did hit me though so I'll check in with you guys in just a second it's just fussing take your rig anywhere you can even take it out the country if you want to on vacation I wanted to show you guys so you guys wouldn't think I was lying uh... all right well I made it to Minnesota I don't know why I'm still wearing this mask but uh I made it here Waiting on my ride, my rig is safe, I'm safe, no hiccups, no nothing. Um, I was hitting that shit in the fucking bathroom, no, I'm just kidding, man. Um, but yeah, I'll check in when I'm in my hotel. Just made it to my room. I got a little ahead of myself, I got excited, I want to take a dab, so I pulled it out already. But, as you see, I'm in my hotel already. I bought this brand new G-Pen Connect. I couldn't find my old one, so... I uh, just decided to buy a brand new one. Um, yeah, freshies. Freshies are always nice. These are fucking clutch for when you're on the road. Like, hella clutch, and I'll show you guys why. Let me get you guys some functionality. Yep, little pretty piece. She's awesome for traveling. I love her for taking her on trips. Got some rosin. Oh, this shit's sticky right now. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, good. 
I hate when that shit sticks to your fingers. <laughs> you see this shit? This shit's laughy taffy, man. Load this bitch up. So the cool thing about this piece is it's a portable little uh, dab rig. Um, it's pretty dope. You just load it up right here. 14 millimeter standard. I, th I believe you can order a 10 millimeter too if you need so. And uh, you just fit it in your piece. Double click. As you see it's flashing. Um, so right now it's flashing. I'll, I'll let you guys see the functionality of it. Once it becomes solid, which it is right now, you hit it. And you take a dab. No torch needed. Super fucking clutch, right? I always recommend taking two hits. The first one's always nice, and the second one's the real, the real smoker. Well, as you guys saw, I brought my rig, everything's safe and sound, I'm safe and sound, I'm here in my hotel. I'm gonna keep diving, and um, yeah, it's a good day, check this out. I just picked these up as well, let me move this over. Let me get this out the way. I just dropped that. <laughs> Travis, Air Forces, just caught these. I don't know, I'm probably not gonna wear these anytime soon. This is for sure a shoe for like fall, winter, if anything, but I just caught them now, I was like, why not? Um, heat, the heat, I like the box. Let me show you guys my room as well. It's pretty cool, there's like a, you can see the shit, the box as well. Um, there's a whole wedding going on. Oh, look, they're taking pictures now. But yeah, this is a view of my hotel. It's not bad, it's nothing special. It's not no New York view or anything like that, but it's nice. I'm not sure what I'm gonna uh, put out for the next video, honestly, but I'm gonna try and think of something cool as fuck for you guys. I don't know, there's a bunch of shit I can do. Two gram dab, who knows? The correct way though. Uh, appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.